Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 32nd episode of Final Round. As always I'm Black Squeak and this ginger bugger is Jibby. First off we apologies for having no SummerSlam or latest TNA pay-per-view review. We have been pretty busy over the last couple of weeks, but we are now free in production to produce more episodes. So we start off tonight with our predictions for WWE Breaking Point. We'll start off with a Singapore Kane match between the great Kali and Kane. This feud's been okay, but it isn't really going to be remembered for some time. I expect Kali to take the win after his last pay-per-view loss to Kane. We have one wrestler who can barely walk and talks like Dr. Zoidberg. And another who looks like a big-ass Uncle Fester. I really expect this to be bad, pretty bad like the time they WCW decided Vince Russo was their savior. Huh, retards. Next up is for the Intercontinental title between Dolph Ziggler and John Morrison. I for one am excited by this match. Though pissed off we won't see Ziggler as champion. They're both main eventers in the making and I see this as a possible candidate for match of the night. Kids, let's all laugh at Rey Mysterio for being a ass clown for failing a drugs test. Not only has he robbed me of a Ziggler title reign, but he pretty much fucked up. But he did have an amazing match with Morrison on SmackDown. I expect Morrison to retain, and I really hope this match stands out as I want them to both go down well with the bookers and management. Up next is the unified tag team title match between Jerry Show against MVP and Mark Henry. This should be a fun match with their feud on Raw getting good. I expect the champs to retain here maybe through a dirty finish of some sort. I like Jericho and Show as a tag team, and I see them getting along Reign as champions. I like to call them Beauty and the Beast. You can decide which is which. But I do agree that they will remain champions after this. I don't expect them to drop the belts until Edge returns. Mark Henry's ring attire reminds me of Fat Albert. That doesn't need to say it's a bad thing though. But Big Show's ring attire is just random, he looks like something from Sesame Street. Just so random of you. Up next is the first ever submissions count anywhere match between DX and Legacy. A very interesting match with this being a first in WWE history. I just can't see DX lose this though. Legacy are on fine form right now, and DX are just DX. I see a DX win here, but I don't see the feud ending on the same night. There'll be more matches to come for these two. This fight should be good with fights in the ring and backstage. It's been far too long since the last one happened through the fans and backstage. Should be good. Now we go on to the two title matches with the first being Randy Orton and John Cena in a I Quit match. This really sets up Cena to take the belt here doesn't it? I've seriously had enough of the same guys feuding. For the love of fuck give some new blood to the main event. Push the legs of Swagger, The Miz or even Kingston. That pisses me off, and Cena winning would pretty much enrage me. Seriously people, watch SmackDown. It's why we left their main event last. Which perfectly brings us to the main event of CM Punk against the returning Undertaker in a submissions match. I really can't wait for this as I've missed Taker, plus CM Punk has truly elevated himself as a main event heel. This should finish the pay-per-view with this match, but knowing Vince, he won't. Punk has made himself a cunt, and I love it. His feud with Jeff really showed his talent, and I for one can't wait for this match. Undertaker's return delights me, and I for one see a DQ finish, since that hasn't really been firmly established in this match. Punk to retain through it, and maybe a tombstone pile driver at the end from Taker. That is it for us today. We'll be back for Breaking Points Review, and TNA's pay-per-view predictions. See you all later.